Related to the last topic of elasticity and pricing behavior, we also need to look at elasticity and taxes. Let's think about the things that tend to be taxed in our society. Cigarettes, beer, gasoline. What are these? These are just three possible products. What are these three things? These are three things where the consumer tends to be quite inelastic. Meaning that if a tax is um, imposed on these products, the consumers are going to pay them. Now, if we have a product that is more elastic, the burden of the tax is going to be different. So, what tends to happen here is that the more inelastic the demand, consumers will pay a larger portion of the tax. The more elastic it is, firms, companies, will pay a larger portion of the tax. Here's the idea. The idea is that there's a difference between legal incidence of the tax and economic incidence of the tax. Legal incidence of the tax. So basically the question is, is who does the state or the federal government go to to make sure that the tax is paid? In most of the cases, it's with the firm. So in this case, the firm pays, um, is responsible at least for giving the money to, um, uh, to the state or the federal government. But that's different than the economic incidence of the tax. Economically speaking, what we're saying is that taxes are shared. They're shared between firms and consumers. How they are shared is determined by their elasticity. So, if the elasticity of demand for the product, if the demand for the product is quite inelastic, like it is for these three things, the firm knows they don't have to pay the tax. Like, they don't have to bear the burden of the tax. They can just pass on the costs to others. Let me give you another example of this. Um, and we're doing this here in Hawaii. Um, uh, when we just passed um, uh, another funding bill for the rail project, we imposed a tax on hotels. Now, the hotels didn't like this new tax being passed on to them. Because right, um, they don't want their bills to go up and have to charge customers even more. But the fact of the matter is that they will pass on all of the tax to the people that are going to a hotel. Because yes, consumers can use Airbnb and right, people could sleep on the you know in their car or whatever. But most people who come to Hawaii, the visitors are just going to go um, get a hotel room. And they're going to pay that tax because they are quite inelastic in terms of where they're going to be sleeping. Same with a rental car, right? Yeah, you could do Uber or Lyft the whole time you're here, um, or maybe even take the bus or whatever. But most people are going to want a rental car for that kind of freedom. So, if you look at your rental car um, bill, it usually has a number of lines in there where there are taxes imposed, and you, the renter, are paying all of them. Now, that's very different if the demand for the product is quite elastic. Because when it's elastic, the, con the firm realizes that it faces a really strong competitive threat. And because they face a strong competitive threat, they don't feel that they are able to pass on the uh, tax to the consumer. So the result is that the firm will pay most of the tax.